I'm Captain James Reifschneider of the Palo Alto Police Department. This police briefing video is intended to provide you with information about a use of force incident that occurred outside a Palo Alto home on December 12, 2023, involving officers from the Palo Alto Police Department. California law requires public disclosure of police video and other materials in specific categories of incidents, including this one, in which an officer's use of force resulted in great bodily injury to a person, a broken finger. You are about to see relevant video footage and learn about this particular case so that you can have a fuller understanding of what occurred. The Palo Alto Police Department conducts very thorough use of force investigations, which typically require our investigators to interview multiple witnesses, analyze video footage that is often hours long, and interpret a significant amount of forensic evidence. Every case is different, but every single case is treated with the same high level of attention to detail that you would expect from our personnel. I'm going to give you a brief overview of this use of force incident, which began on Tuesday, December 12, 2023, at about 2.46 p.m. Officers from the Palo Alto Police Department were dispatched to a private residence on a report of a domestic disturbance. As police officers arrived, an adult woman and her adult son exited the home, but the suspect, who was the woman's ex-husband and father of the adult son, remained inside and refused police commands to exit. The investigation revealed that the suspect had strangled the woman and battered the son. The suspect had access to several firearms legally registered to him inside the home. The Palo Alto Special Weapons and Tactics Team, or SWAT team, as well as the Palo Alto Crisis Negotiation Team were summoned to the scene. Negotiators began communicating with the suspect, who continued to refuse to come out of the house, while detectives obtained a warrant for the suspect's arrest for felony domestic violence and two counts of felony assault with a deadly weapon for the strangulation of the woman and for headbutting his son. Negotiators eventually were able to get the suspect to come to the front door and come out to the front porch, but he continued to disobey commands to surrender. As a result, a SWAT officer fired a rubber projectile from a handheld launcher at the suspect, simultaneously striking one of his fingers and his chest. Officers immediately took the suspect into custody without further incident at about 7.30 p.m. Here are a couple of last notes before the video begins to help you understand what you will be watching. Our officers wear body-worn cameras. You will see the footage from two separate officers beginning immediately prior to the rubber projectile being launched at the suspect and ending after police handcuffed the suspect. The first video is from the perspective of the negotiator. As the suspect speaks Mandarin, the negotiations were conducted with a Mandarin-speaking officer assigned to our crisis negotiation team. The second video is from the perspective of the SWAT officer who launched the rubber projectile at the suspect. Remember, these actions occurred after several hours of negotiation with the suspect to surrender. Finally, I offer a word of caution. The images and information you are about to see may be disturbing. When a police officer has to use force to arrest a suspect, or defend themselves against an assault, it can be graphic and difficult to watch. In addition, there may be strong language used by those shown in the video. Viewer discretion is advised, especially for children and other sensitive viewers. Here's the video. He's not going to step out further. Okay. <coughs> Hello, 
OK OK， 那你现在是有什么担心呢？因为如果你不出来的话，他们有可能会用枪。我,我是进去了，好吧？该出来，不让不让。你想谈是吗？如果你不出来谈的话，他们会有。他们有可能会伤害你哦，又伤到你，我不想伤到你。我不想，我也不想伤到我自己，也不想伤到你。那我就请你出来两步，好不好？可不可以？我就出来，你是蒙古站的呢，你为什么是你不能进来呢？这是我长官的规定。Okay, 我就过来，你就过来，过来行吗 ？OK。好，谢谢，我真的，谢谢，谢谢，谢谢。谢谢谢谢谢出来，出来，出来。Drop the phone! Come out! Come out! Get on your knees! Get on your knees! 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 I got tough. You got cups? Yeah. Go ahead. Anybody hurt? Good. Good. Are you right, sir? Yeah. Finger. Yeah. Finger. 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 Left hand. Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah, right hand. Paramedics from the Palo Alto Fire Department transported the suspect to a local hospital for treatment of his injured finger, the tip of which had been broken off and was separated from the rest of the finger. After treatment at the hospital, police booked the man at the Santa Clara County Main Jail pursuant to the arrest warrant for domestic violence and assault with a deadly weapon. As a result of the suspect's actions that prompted the initial call to police, the female victim and male victim both sustained minor visible injuries and were treated at the scene by paramedics. No officers were injured during the incident. Police served an emergency protective restraining order on the suspect and seized all firearms, four handguns, two rifles, and a shotgun in the home pursuant to that order. In the video, you may have heard a loud bang noise and seen a flash of light shortly after the arrest was made. An officer had prepared a diversionary device to distract the suspect. However, when it was no longer needed, it was instead deployed safely away from the suspect and officers. If you would like more information on the Palo Alto Police Department and how we investigate all reported uses of force, please visit the public information portal of our website at www.papd.org. Our use of force policy, which contains our investigative procedures surrounding uses of force, is available online in our policy manual in its entirety. Thank you for taking the time to view this police briefing video.